This is Bert, and I'm going to show you here how I make my fertilizer for my hydroponic um, garden. It's not actually making the fertilizer, but how I use it, how I mix it into its uh, right portion. Now, this is a five gallon bucket. I'm going to be making a double batch. I use this fertilizer that's ready made uh, for tomatoes, uh, and it also works for the other plants because I've only got one reservoir. It's from Hydro, it's from Urban Hydroponic. I get this from Amazon.com. And uh, so you're supposed to put 22 grams of this per five gallons of water. And I use this scale at first, uh, but I've gotten pretty good at kind of doing it on my own. So I'll show you how much about 22 grams is. I'm gonna be measuring it with my tools here in a minute. So it really doesn't matter. bit more that's about 22 grams I would say uh, put that in the in the water and I'm making a double batch because I'm gonna be putting 10 gallons of water in my reservoir instead of doing this twice I just do it once and then on the second batch I just put water in okay so there's my batch okay just realized though, I've never done it this way with my PPM meter, and it's gonna put it up about 2,000. Let's see if it works. Okay, so I'm gonna mix all this up. Gotta stir it around really good. When you put this um, mixture in, this fertilizer mixture in, it's gonna take a while to get it all dissolved right. So I'm gonna be doing this a few times here, and I'll speed through the times that uh, so you don't have to look at it all the time of me just stirring this. I'm going to stir it around a bit. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a measurement of the parts per million. It should be about a thousand. And right now I'm up at about 151. 1,500. That's because some of this stuff isn't dissolved yet. Okay, so I'll just keep stirring around here. <laughs> okay, I tested it parts per million again still 159 159 so that means 1000 about 1600 so what I'll do now is let me go ahead and check the pH value with my pH reader pH should be about 6.5 between 6.5 and 7 pH right now if you can zoom in here you can see that it's at 4.8 4.9 going up a little bit Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take some of this pH up and I'll put it in here. I, I just put in little bits at a time. I know I got to put in quite a bit right now though because it's so low. Take three or four vials. I'll take about four of these little syringe things. You can see down here how it's getting cloudy now. And let me close this up so in case I drop it, it falls over, it doesn't spill. And stir that up. You stir that solution in there real good. At the same time, we're still working in the fertilizer because the fertilizer is takes a while for it all to dissolve. This, I'll probably go through five or six cycles of actually putting a pH in and stirring this around, testing the pH, testing the, the parts per million. Okay, so now that I put that pH in there, that pH up, let me go ahead and test it again and we'll see where it's at. You can see it's up now to 5.8. The pH is up to 5.8. We still need some more, it's 
Yeah, it's 5.9 right now. And I'll check my PPM. PPM is at 1062.65. 1065. So I'm starting to get it dissolved here. I'll go ahead and put some more of this pH up in here to bring that up. I'm going to put in three this time. I'm probably going to have to test the pH again once I add this five gallons to my reservoir and then add another five gallons from my rain barrel the pH value will go down again and I'm going to buy some more of this stuff because I'm going through it like crazy my rainwater has been about 4 pH um, around 4.5 5 pH and the pH what that is is that's the uh, the level of acidity of the uh, water and the plants need about 6.5, 6.7. Stir this around. <coughs> when it gets to a point where I really can't see down at the bottom of the barrel anymore or the of the pail, I have to just kind of judge when I think all this stuff is dissolved. All right, and. Again, this is my first year ever doing this. I really, you know, I'm learning this from other YouTube videos and from a friend that taught me about it. Checking the pH right now, it's at 165. I mean, not the pH, this is the parts per million. That's how much of the fertilizer, fertilizer is dissolved into the water. It's saying 168, so that's 1,000, almost 1,700 parts per million. And let me check my pH again. Okay, it's ready to test. I've got it at, it's up to about 6.1 now. 6.1, so I could go 6.2. Yeah, it's stabilizing about 6.2. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead. See, I can go up to seven. I like to go up to about 6. Point, well, I stop at about 6.5. If I get to 6.5, I'm gonna stop. But right now, it's okay if I get up to seven. So it's okay if I go ahead and put about three more. You gotta be careful because if you go too over, then you end up having to put in what's called pH down. That's another chemical that's right here. And then you end up going back and forth and it really can be a pain in the butt. It happened to me one time and I learned my lesson real quick to add the pH up on a slow, very slowly. So, keep stirring this up. Some people actually bank their fertilizer by themselves. They buy the actual uh, components, or the chemicals themselves. And it sounds like somebody's car alarm is going off. But uh, they, they buy the chemicals themselves nitrate and I don't know what else it is. I've watched a few videos of it but I can't tell off the top of my head and they actually mix it on their own. It's a lot easier for me right now since I'm just starting out to buy the fertilizer already uh, mixed and that's why I get it from Urban Hydroponics at, uh, on Amazon.com. So you really get mixed up good now. Let me uh, test my parts per million one more time. So 165. I think that's about 168. I think that's about all we're going to get out of this. Okay, so let's check my pH one more time. pH is 6.3, 6.3 in, in holding. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna have to go and buy some more of this stuff. I'll probably buy it on the, the German economy instead of ordering it from uh, Amazon. I always buy everything from Amazon because they, most places don't have a problem of shipping over here. 
to my APO address. I'm putting three in here. And I get Prime, Amazon Prime, so I don't have to pay for the shipping, which is nice. And sometimes it's actually, most of the time I should say, it's actually cheaper than buying it on the German, the German stores. Because my neighbor, he's a real farmer. He kind of laughs at me. He kind of laughs at my hydroponic gardening that I'm doing here. But they haven't been laughing for the last few days because they're seeing how well my garden is doing compared to their earth that's in the dirt, their, their, you know, their little vegetable garden. This is turning into like a grayish color now. It looks like it's getting saturated with that pH, uh, with the pH up that I have here. It's, like it's, it's almost like a, it's turning into a grayish color, so I think I've probably got it about right. Let's test it one more time. Test the pH one more time. And it's at 6.4, 6.5, right where I want it. Okay, so if we let this sit here for a while, it may actually go up to 6.6. .6, but that's right where I want it. That's perfect for the tomatoes. I love that 6.5 pH. I'll test the uh, PPM one more time. And it is at 171. One, yeah, 171, 174. It's popping around between 168 and 174. So I think that's about good. So that's how I mix my fertilizer solution. Now all I have to do is place it in my reservoir. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that you actually enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something.